Well, you ever get those days where a customer wants you to build something or duplicate? And you look at it and you say, well, every one of them suckers is gulped. That's going to take forever in a Sunday. Why they just want to lay it in there? I mean, it looks nicer this way and it's definitely stronger. It's off concrete mold. But you're looking at that saying, man, I'm going to wrap some hours up cutting these suckers out. Well, there are a few tricks in order to shave a few hours off the job. I'm going to show you some of them. Well, as you can see from the pile of carnage down here, I've been busy coping away on all these pieces of channel here. Yeah, one all cut and just about got them all coped out but first thing i got all my parts laid out for the cope and as you can see we're gonna have a joint joint detail come through the center here and it's fit fairly snug on the two runners going up but what i got here i'm not sure if you can see this too good yeah, probably not. There it is. Welded gas saver. Now, this little unit here has a little spot for your torch. You just hang it off of there. And it's got a little pilot flame so you can light your torch. There she's in focus. So all you do with this, you throw your striker away and you light that little pilot flame up. And then when you get ready to cut, you just pick your torch up. That uh, torch is engaged. Or to light it, you come up from the underside. And you lit. Shut it off. If you want to cut, it just goes right out. Pretty convenient, but there's only a few little hang ups as you got to come from the underside with your torch. If not, it'll blow this little pilot flame out. It's pretty easy to do if you come from the side or whatever and you don't want to burn any of this up. Especially if you go down, burn all your hoses up. But, yeah, you just pick it up, make your cut, hang it up, and you're done. And you, just, you don't need to use your striker much, so. so. Usually when I'm making my layout, just take a little slug deeper and nice and just stick it in where she's tight to that edge. Got my silver streak and just whip around it. Square. Square. Right there. That's it. So she's ready to cut now. That's it. Now I can move on to my next piece and keep going. Yep, and the other side of that coin is you can use a grinder like they did here. They just come in the side. That yeah, looks kind of ugly. And, well, they didn't quite get the notch deep enough, so they decided just weld it anyways. But 
that's another way of doing it but at the price of cotton wheels and consumables right now you just about kill yourself in overhead so usually a torch is the cheapest way and grind wheels i mean yeah you get you still gotta touch it with the grinder but not as heavy as if you're using your cutoff wheels and making that kind of a mess so that is the other and sometimes i do it if i gotta do a quick cope i'll just use the grind wheel but i mean it takes longer and if you're doing a lot of them it's it's way more labor intensive so that's the other way of doing it but usually torch especially on the heavier stuff well i got one more tip and that's when you're using say like a track torch or something that's an automated system and you're cutting with it you can use this because you know sometimes when you get that torch absolutely cutting beautiful there's no slag and you just clean it off with your striker you can use this you just got to hang a wrench or something off it or even your striker will pull it down but you don't have to change your settings you still got to use your strike to light it but in the end you know just hanging it up like this and you don't have to adjust anything on your torch head so yep it's a great little unit